Hi, I'm Curtis Smith, music director at First Congregational Church in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. And I'm here today with my friend Sean to take a look at the Casavant organ from 1958. Now, how does this differ from a regular piano? So on an organ, you would have normally an on switch, and that's right here. That turns on a blower motor in the basement, which we'll take a look at later. And then I don't get any sound yet until I pull one of these stops. So a piano would be a percussion instrument and also a stringed instrument, whereas an organ is a wind instrument. Now, what do those different uh, stops do? So stops on this side are for the swell. So I, if I pull out these stops, actually we'll start with just one stop and that's one pipe. I pull out a second stop, that's two pipes. And then three pipes and four pipes. And that's all on this keyboard up here known as the swell. What about the pedals? What do those do? So the pedals have their own line for pipes. And it's simply like playing a giant keyboard with your feet. You play the white keys here with either your toe or your heel, and you play the black keys with your toe. I like those socks. Thank you, my wife knitted those. <laughs> Why are there three different keyboards there? So there are three keyboards and then the pedal board counts as well. So there are really four divisions. And this middle keyboard is known as the great. It's the main keyboard. And then we saw the swell up here. This one down here is known as the choir. So those stops for the choir keyboard are over here. Uh, and yet the sound comes out over there on the left. And the stops for the great the sound comes out over here on the right. And then the stops for the swell, that sound comes out right in front of me. So the, there are those three different divisions of the organ, great over here on the right, and then swell in the middle, choir on the left. So you get quite a stereo sound. So, Sean and I figured out that this organ is older than both of us combined. Uh, so from 1958, uh, the technology available was not what it is today. So we're going to take a look inside and see what we find. Sean, if you'll grab that side. And then I have the top so you can get the... Uh, This is inside the organ. You can see some of how this stop action works. The little lever is moving there as I pull these. This is known as electro-pneumatic action. Pneumatic meaning because it works with air and then I can cancel all those. Um, so you see right here, a lot of this is antiquated technology. I can move some of those bellows by pressing some buttons here, like that one, and that one, and this one, and you can, you can hear the air. So that is a, a bellows, and it's using air pressure to activate a switch as I push that. And you can hear that one's a little bit leaky, so this is leather here. And leather starts to deteriorate after about 50 years. And since this organ is 64 years old, a lot of this leather is beginning to deteriorate. And that's a labor-intensive job to replace those bellows. What's wrong with the organ? Well, it's the leather that only lasts 50 years. So you saw in there, there was some leather that was 
leaking, the le leather that makes up the bellows. Uh, let's take a look at some leather that's just been replaced. If you follow me. We'll head down to the blower room, which is in the basement. So the blower is on right now, the motor's in the back, it takes in air under here, loads it up into this reservoir. This reservoir helps stabilize the air uh, to make sure that when you're hauling for lots of air into the pipes that it doesn't lose air pressure and that would affect the pitch. So this keeps it nice and steady. Uh, these springs ensure that it's a constant PSI. It's not much, it's not a very high PSI. And then air goes through this pipe and up to the organ. It's up those flights of stairs that we just came down. Here's an example of some new leather. This was recently replaced here on the corners. It's nice and soft and supple. And as you can hear, it's nice and quiet. It doesn't leak like the uh, bellows upstairs. Now, what's the difference uh, in new leather and old leather uh, with the sound? Sound. Um, so when you start to get leaks, eventually the organ will stop working. So uh, what happened here was in 2018, the leak got so bad here on these corners and also here in the, this black leather in the middle, uh, the organ simply could not build up enough pressure to make it work. So this is uh, the beginning of the journey where the air starts. Then we'll head back up the stairs. Here we are back at the console, and now we're going to take a look at where the, the wind finishes its journey here in the pipe room. So you can see through the screen here, there are in fact pipes back in there. Let's take a look. Pipes you see here on top are known as flue pipes. Very small examples right here. There's a collar at the top, which is adjusted by sliding it up and down, and that's how you tune that pipe, because it's the length of the pipe that determines its pitch. These wooden pipes are also flue pipes. Now, the wooden pipes give a more fundamental tone, like a basic sine wave, even though um, acoustic waves are actually compression waves, but we represent them by sine waves. It's a similar idea. Uh, versus these metal pipes actually have more overtones. And so they are a more complex wave than just a simple sine wave. Casabat did a wonderful job of squeezing a lot of pipes into a very small space. And this is just the great division that we're looking at right here. There is another room on the other side of that wall, through that door, which houses the swell division. And then there's yet another wall with a little door that houses the choir division. However, this is the only access door to this room. And that's great for the pipes because it keeps them away from the elements. There are no exterior walls in this little chamber. Let's take a look at down here. Underneath the wind chest, we have another reservoir, similar to the one we saw in the basement. Now this reservoir has not been fixed. This is 64 year old leather. And maybe you can hear the hissing. If I put my hand here, I can feel wind coming out quite strong. And there's another leak over there. Now, one of the reasons this leather has lasted for 
64 years is because the humidity levels in this room have been quite stable because there's no exterior walls. In the basement, uh, maybe you saw, next to the blower motor, there's a window and it's very tricky to regulate the humidity there. Now, we're looking at one reservoir here, there's one right back behind it, and there are three similar to this in the, the next room over. In fact, I'll put up a picture of um, what that next room looks like in the swell division. This is the view through the door into the swell division, the center division of the organ. On the left, you can see the shutters. Those are expression shutters controlled by the expression pedal or swell pedal at the console. And just ahead there is a door on hinges into the next room, which is the choir division. This is the view inside of the swell division. The shutters, expression shutters are behind us. And Here's a view looking further down. And there are two more reservoirs uh, as part of the choir division. So each one of these rows of pipes would be one stop on the keyboard. So I pull on one stop, it activates this row. Pull on the stop above it, it activates this row. And you have all of these options for different contrast in the sound. So as you can see, this leather is not far behind um, the leather in the basement. So the leather in the basement was exposed to a few more elements um, and that's why it failed first, but this one is failing now. Um, so that's a testament to this pipe room, that it keeps that leather and these pipes away from the elements. There's also quite a bit of leather inside of this wind chest that we can't see. But this, this room is a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because it keeps the organ in great shape, at least this part of the organ, not the part that's in the basement. Um, but that also means we have limited access to these reservoirs and to these wind chests. In order to get this wind chest through this door, all of these pipes have to be removed. This uh, wind chest needs to be turned up, up on its side and taken out. And then you can take this wind reservoir, turn it up on its side and take it out the door. It's simply, simply too wide to be uh, taken out the door as it is. And once you do that, then you might as well, while you're at it, take that wall down and take all of the pipes from the swell division and then the wind chest from the swell division and the three reservoirs from the swell division uh, because you need to take those out in order to get to the choir division. So for most organs, you would simply replace these uh, leaks as they come up. But with this organ, even though it's uh, well kept here in the pipe room, it means that we can't simply fix things piecemeal. Thank you for joining us today on our journey through the Casavant.